Nick Kyrgios is one of those few Australian tennis stars who are always in the spotlight for both right and wrong reasons. He's said to be the bad boy of tennis, but everyone knows his true talent is in the racket. No matter what, he's a big star. In this video, we'll talk about Nick's ex-girlfriend sharing her thoughts about teaming up with Nick and the Aussie player talking about his chances in the Australian Open. First up, tennis star Alia Tomjanovic has a thing or two to say about her ex. Yeah, reuniting with your ex is always a super awkward situation, regardless of whether you're a big shot tennis star. The weirdness is just so pronounced that you can't help but hide from the elephant in the room. That's probably what Alia Tomjanovic and Nick Kyrgios must be going through as they team up for the United Cup in Sydney. At least, that's what the public thinks they must be feeling, but Alia has a thing or two to say about the whole affair. The fiercely talented Croatian-Australian tennis star was beside Nick as a partner for two years until their breakup in 2017. The breakup wasn't a mutual situation because it happened after Kyrgios was seen leaving a London nightclub with two women. Since then, it has been pretty much radio silence between the two as Alia was busy becoming Australia's top female player. After Ash Barty's retirement, she will be headlining the team with Alex de Menor and Nick Kyrgios for the United Cup tournament, which will continue from December 29 to January 8. Shedding light on the awkwardness regarding the reunion, Alia was quick to shut down any unnecessary speculations and said that the pair hadn't hung out much, but she is excited to join forces with him for the tournament. Tomjanovic was stealthy when defining her relationship with her ex, saying that she only talks about it when the media brings it up. Luckily, there hasn't been any animosity between between the two tennis players, and since then, they've even moved on romantically. Kyrgios is now with Sydney-based influencer Kostin Hatsi, and there are rumors that the pair might tie the knot this year. As for Alia, she separated from tennis player Matteo Berrettini earlier in 2022 after dating for three years. Coming up, did Nick and Alia play together, cause a stir for the duo? People like to blow things out of proportion, especially when a former couple comes together. Come on, people, these are professional tennis players. They're bound to face each other at some point, and as Australian representatives, Alia and Nick Nick can't possibly go without ever bumping into each other. But whenever the Wimbledon finalist sees a girl, there are assumptions and not of the good kind. That's because Nick is currently facing allegations that he assaulted his ex-girlfriend, Chiara Passari, last December. The Aussie star is looking to have the charges dismissed based on mental health grounds. Of course, when you get accused of assaulting one ex, it's bound to be considered that it's a repetitive pattern. But when asked, Tomjanovic had a steely reply, saying that she's completely against domestic violence. She was also disappointed by the question of whether she was an alleged domestic abuse victim of the male tennis star. Alia said that she likes to keep her relationships private, and it's been a while since their relationship ended as well. She confirmed that she hadn't had any kind of violent experience with him, so that's that. This is likely the first time the former Flames are going to play doubles together for the mixed gender tournament. The United Cup, which is currently being held in Sydney, will feature some of the biggest names in tennis, including Kyrgios facing off against the great Rafa Nadal in Australia versus Spain. The 11-day United Cup will include group games, with Australia facing off against the likes of Spain and Great Britain. Next up, Nick Kyrgios talks about teaming up with his ex-girlfriend at the United Cup. There are sports people who simply don't have a mouth filter, and Nick Kyrgios is one of them. He got in trouble several times because of that, but shockingly, he was quite modest about his reaction to playing together with his ex-girlfriend. Instead of saying something he might have regretted later, the Aussie tennis star has welcomed the prospect of playing with Alia Tomjanovic. The duo, along with other prominent Aussie players, will lead the country in the United Cup against other mixed-gender teams. The United Cup is like the revival of the Hopman Cup, which faced the Axe rather controversially back in 2019. The teams will feature female and male players across singles and mixed doubles ties, and with Australia's best guy and girl leading the team, they're bound to make magic. On the topic of playing with his former partner, Nick was pretty generic in stating that it's just great to have events where the best male and female players come together to represent their nations. He pointed out that he doesn't play mixed doubles much, but when the best female players play alongside the best players, it makes up for great entertainment for the fans. The media must have been in fits hearing Nick talk about the topic in such a smooth way. The guy had nothing but praise for the tournament, especially the female players who were participating in it. Luckily for both Alia and Nick, the duo had a great career run in 2022, with Kyrgios reaching the final at the All England Club and the quarters in New York. Tomjanovic also made it to the quarterfinals at the US Open and Wimbledon. Following that, Nick Kyrgios withdraws at the 11th hour. Just when everyone was excited to see ex-couple Nick Kyrgios and Alia Tomjanovic represent Australia together in the United Cup, sad news took over. Just before the scheduled opening match, world number 22 Nick Kyrgios announced to pull out of the tournament, seeking to overcome injury. It's devastating for Kyrgios fans who were looking forward to seeing his magic in mixed doubles. Alia and Kyrgios were expected to lead the Aussie team, and the latter was to face off against Great Britain's Cameron Norrie in Sydney. Unfortunately, the 2022 Wimbledon finalist withdrew even before the scheduled press conference. It was reported that Nick had sustained an ankle injury during an exhibition tournament in Dubai last week 
week, he has been dealing with the recovery. But with the Australian Open just ahead, Kyrgios had to prioritize which tournament he should play. The second Adelaide International event and the United Cup were supposed to serve as a kind of preparatory period for him before he goes head-on in his home Grand Slam. After his jaw-dropping performance at the 2022 Wimbledon, everyone expects nothing but a top-notch performance from him, and he can't do that with an injured ankle. Nick's teammates found out only 10 minutes before the press conference. It was tweeted by the organizers about Kyrgios's decision, and it looks like his teammates have his back. Team captain Samantha Stoser told reporters that we have to leave the decision for Nick, as she cannot speak on whether he could be fit for the Open. The audience was waiting for the highly anticipated showdown between Rafael Nadal and Kyrgios, as Australia meets Spain next week, but we guess it's the Australian Open over United Cup then. Up next, Nick Kyrgios talks about his Australian Open chances. Speaking of the Australian Open, this will be one of the most important tournaments for the Aussie tennis star, Nick Kyrgios. It's going to be his home territory, and the way he's been going the previous year, fans are expecting him to pull on another final as well. But what does the man himself think about his chances in the upcoming tournament? When asked about the matter, he simply said that he's not looking too far ahead, but hopes to do everything right to become the best contender for the Open title. Before his fantastic 2022 season started, Nick had told the media that he was completely focused on making a run at Wimbledon. And he did. He just fell a little short against the great Novak Djokovic. Kyrgios will be going to the Australian Open as a favorite with a home field advantage, but the guy thinks that nothing is guaranteed. But he's feeling good mentally about everything, and that's the most important thing. He added that he's taking things as they come, and even if he wins all the way or loses in the first round, he'll still be the same guy. That's the spirit, Nick. Remembering his almost successful Wimbledon run and a deep one at the U.S. Open, Kyrgios said that out of the four Grand Slams, Wimbledon was the most important and biggest one. It was the highlight of his career. The Aussie star gave defending champion Daniel Medvedev a run for his money in the U.S. Open and had a tough round against Karen Kashinov afterward. Of course, the Russian edged Kyrgios out of the running, and he was so disappointed by the whole affair and said in a post-match conference that Grand Slam tournaments are the only ones that really count. And finally, Kyrgios reignites his feud with Leighton Hewitt. Australia may have experienced a setback losing Kyrgios before the final match, but Jason Kubler has saved the day by defeating Great Britain's Dan Evans. Jason bagged the first victory for the Aussies as the country slumped to 0-3 with defeat in the Group D meeting. Amidst all the tension, Nick Kyrgios made it a task to remind everyone that he may not be playing, but he's still relevant. So he decided to reignite his feud with co-captain Leighton Hewitt. As usual, he took his issues to Twitter and responded to a tweet about his team member, Alia Tomjanovic, who is also now out of the United Cup. Kyrgios' cryptic response was a hit at Hewitt, in which Nick said that he was thrown under the bus by Leighton when he opted out of the cup due to an injury. He even said that it's hard to prepare when you don't know what's going on. Kyrgios' response came after it was suggested that co-captain Hewitt criticized the Wimbledon finalist for withdrawing from the tournament and for a lack of communication. Hewitt and Kyrgios had gone head-to-head -head before when the former commented that he was frustrated with his nation's top male tennis star for choosing money over representing the country. Things have been sour between the two ever since. That's a wrap for this video. Which team are you rooting for in the United Cup? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.